What makes catfish very clever is the fact that then the fins at the back self-actuate. Okay. So it makes auto corrections of its heading. So it really keeps the platform nice and stable, which enables us to get the highest resolution image of the seabed. Can you just obviously tell us a little bit about this? This is our Toad uh, Catfish 180. Yep. So it's a Toad synthetic aperture sonar. So what Kraken developed was synthetic aperture sonar, and that's what you've got here is the actual SAS transducer. And what SAS wants is a very stable platform. So then what we developed is the actual tow body. So this is a remotely operated towed vehicle, Catfish. Okay. Yep. And within Catfish is then our synthetic aperture sonar. So the system's towed from this part here. So that's connected up to the vessel. Yep. Uh, so it gets all its motion from the vessel. It's, it's, it's just towed behind it. Okay. But then the system itself is incredibly stable for SAS. So we've got the actual SAS transducer. Yep. That looks side on. Yep. Mapping the seabed. We've got then a gap reducer. So a secondary SAS system that's looking more vertically down just to reduce that in the deer gap. Yep. We've got high resolution multi-beam echo sounder uh, as well. Positioned with a USB-L, so this is just the beacon going up to the vessel so we know exactly where it is. The yep. system's got an INS, so inertial navigation system, so we know exactly where the data's pointing. Uh, a DVL, so we know exactly how high above the seabed it is as well. Yep. That's the payload, but what makes Catfish very clever is the fact that then the fins at the back self-actuate. Okay. So it makes auto corrections of its heading. So it really keeps the platform nice and stable, which enables us to get the highest resolution image of the seabed. Perfect. All right. Thanks for taking the time to yeah, speak no. to me.